Hi guys and welcome in this new tutorial of Xamarin Forms. So today we're gonna see how to use push notification using FCM, Firebase um, Cloud Messaging. So before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos. So here we we'll continue in the last project. We're gonna create a new service called Custom Firebase Messaging Service. And before that, we need to install three packages here, Google Play Service, Google Dagger, and Firebase Messaging. So let's make this service public. And it um, implements Firebase Messaging Service uh, class. Uh, let's add the attribute of service and intent uh, filter. It will be new array of uh, google.firebase.messaging event so you can see this in the official documentation of android uh, firebase um, api so we're gonna override the on new token let's take uh, a token like parameter and every time um, we subscribe to firebase uh, the application subscribes to um, the firebase service so we generate a token for this application after that we're gonna override um, on message receive receive it it takes uh, it takes a remote message um, class like parameter and before that let's inject um, the local notification service um, uh, that we have made last time uh, to um, show a notification in the on message received uh, method we need to uh, get the notification and call the show notification method and put the parameters the title the message and the data in the manifest we need to copy um, some code some uh, configuration like in um, the official documentation of firebase it's copy and paste so uh, after that we're gonna make um, something called is google services available on the main activity so we need to know if the firebase service is available so we have the result code will be equal to google api available service availability dot instance dot is google play service available so if the result code code different from success so we have two um cases here so the first one is the sdk the sdk it's not installed and the second one uh, we have um, a problem it will it can be a um, network problem uh, and whatever else it's a success so our service is available great we can make some logs here we can log the error and log the debug for um, for uh, showing um, the information in the console the output window cool after that we need to call this um, method um, after the uncreate now let's go to the firebase uh, site web and let's create a new project and here deactivate the analytics and creating the project so our project called notification demo so here we need to configure our firebase we need to put uh, the package name of our application and we tap on next here we have the google services the gzone we have to download it and put it in the root um, of uh, android project and don't forget to change the build action to google service the gzone if you don't see this uh, parameter you have to close your uh, visual studio and uh, reopen it nice let's build the application so when you open uh, the application here we have a new token 
which means your application will be subscribed to Firebase service. And now we can make next, next, next. And after that, we can go to the cloud messaging um, tab and we need to send a new message. So you can put a title here um, of the notification. And let's make it side by side to see uh, the notification in real time. So I put the emulator on the left. And now let's put some title here. So it will be um, Firebase uh, Messaging Cloud Notification. And some descriptions. It will be this is this is not um, a local notification and we send we need to put the token here in order to test our notification and when we send it we receive it on the other side so here we have a real-time push notification that's very cool and we can close the application. We need to uh, reopen it because it's in debug mode. So we need to reopen it and close it. And we'll see if it's work when the application uh, is closed. We can receive already a notification all the time. That is very amazing. So we can put some description other description here and send so here we go we have our notification thank you very very much and see you on the next tutorial